Let's see if Raul could be one of them, but at the moment the situation is still open and still early stages for Real Madrid because they're still protecting Ancelotti. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, I wanted to touch on managers. I have many questions from you on Nagelsmann, on Luis Enrique, on Carlo Ancelotti, on Mauricio Pochettino, many managers. What's going on? Let's jump into the transfers domino for managers. Okay. <music> And so guys, has been a really surprising uh, uh, year, I would say, in the Premier League with many managers fired. It was quite different in uh, La Liga, quite different in Serie A, Bundesliga, also with a big surprise with uh, Julian Nagelsmann fired and Thomas Tuchel as new coach. But what's going on right now? Many of you asking, of course, about Chelsea, many of you asking also about other possibilities. What's the state of the situation? So guys, I wanted to start, of course, with the Chelsea job. As I told you, Julian Nagelsmann is a strong candidate, not the only one. Chelsea are taking some hours and days to make the best decision, but they want a new coach as soon as possible. Nagelsmann is an option that they are discussing internally. He has many fans into the board. Of course, Christopher Vivel knows him so well and also other people into the board is really uh, open, appreciating this option, but Chelsea will uh, speak to the candidates they have and then they will make a decision. But Nagelsmann, from what I understand, would be open to speak to Chelsea. He is already open to speaking to Chelsea. The approaches were positive and so let's see how it will continue. So Nagelsmann for sure is an, open, an option at Chelsea. A manager to keep an eye on is for sure Ruben Amorim. I told you yesterday about him. Why? Because he's doing an excellent job at sporting and he's a coach appreciated in England. For Chelsea could be one of the names. We know that Nagelsmann is the favorite, but let's see what's going to happen. And so Ruben Amorim is really interesting. Price around 16 million euros due to his contract with sporting and also not easy at all to find an agreement with sporting during the season for their coach. Let me clarify one thing about Portuguese uh, situation. Uh, Roger Schmidt extended his contract with Benfica until June 2026, and so he's not leaving, but he was already in the list of some big clubs around Europe. But Benfica have been really fast in extending his contract, improving his salary. Another coach appreciated is Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique is appreciated internally at Chelsea. They think uh, he's a very good coach with good experience, good personality also, and this is something important the leadership for Chelsea but from what I'm told that he's still waiting to make a decision on the next step he would love to work in the Premier League he said in an interview a few days ago but at the moment there are still no direct contacts with Luis Enrique who is waiting and he would love to work in England especially in London so let's see how it will continue but Luis Enrique is another name to follow in this coach's situation. Many questions also Mauricio Pochettino. Uh, I heard many links about Mauricio Pochettino and Chelsea, many stories about Mauricio Pochettino and Tottenham. From what I understand at the moment, no conversations ongoing with Chelsea, with Tottenham. We know there is a strong relationship. Pochettino is really loved by Tottenham fans, but at the moment he's still not speaking to Tottenham Football Club. I also saw some report of Pochettino turning down the Tottenham job. At the moment, I'm not aware of that. Honestly, guys, of Pochettino saying no to Tottenham. Pochettino is waiting to make the best decision for his future but when I mention Pochettino I always say keep an eye on Real Madrid because I told you already months ago that Pochettino is one of the options in the list at Real Madrid in case Ancelotti will leave. I say in case because it depends on the end of the season, depends on the Champions League, many factors for Real Madrid and Carlo Ancelotti to continue together or not so we have to wait a bit at the moment they are still protecting Ancelotti but Pochettino is one of the names they discussed internally. Then they also had Thomas Tuchel in the list at Real Madrid, but he joined Bayern, of course, and then there is some idea of internal solution. Let's see if Raul could be one of them, but at the moment the situation is still open and still early stages for Real Madrid because they're still protecting Ancelotti, especially for the Champions League and the Copa del Rey, as La Liga is really close to being Barcelona. And for Barcelona, Xavi Hernandez will extend the contract with Balsa. It will probably be at the end of the season because he wants to focus on La Liga now, on the Copa del Rey, so the idea of Barca is to focus on the pitch. But Xavi is really happy, he's doing an excellent job, they're very happy with him, and so the contract extension is considered matter of time for Xavi Hernandez at Barcelona. But 
we mentioned Pochettino as one of the options for Real Madrid. We have to see what happens with Ancelotti and Brazil, because the Brazilian federation is going to wait for Ancelotti. For what I understand, they will wait until the end of the season, until the Champions League will finish for Real Madrid. Let's see when, but the idea of the Brazilian federation is to wait and wait for Carlo Ancelotti. So this is the idea. They are not speaking to other candidates yet, because they want to wait for Ancelotti. They will go for other candidates only if Ancelotti will say no. So this is the idea. And so Brazil, Ancelotti is something concrete to keep in mind. Then I wanted to mention the situation of Roberto De Zerbi. I told you in a video last week that he has a clause. The clause is 13 million euros, the clause of Roberto De Zerbi with Brighton. Then I know someone is calling it like a compensation formula or something like that. There is an amount, let's say like this, into the contract of Roberto De Zerbi to leave Brighton in the summer. And that amount is 13 million euros. That amount is not available now, so no way for the close right now. It's just for the summer, so July, August. But at the moment, there is still nothing advanced because Roberto De Zerbi is focused on Brighton and he's focusing on the final part of the season. He's doing an excellent job. And so the focus of the Zerbi is on Brighton. Then we will see. This is the idea, but he has many fans around Europe and especially in the Premier League. So this manager's domino, guys, will be absolutely wild. Uh, many coaches to, to follow after the shocking story of Nagelsmann and Tuchel that started this domino and then Antonio Conte parting ways with Tottenham. We will see what happens also for many other jobs, including Leicester, the links with Rafa Benitez, but waiting for the final decision and so guys we will follow it but for sure stay here because many things are going to happen very soon and so guys let me know your thoughts on this managers roundup i want your predictions here in the comments what do you think is going to happen for chelsea for tottenham and many other jobs around europe including real madrid i wait for your opinion here as always like this video turn on the notification bell subscribe to the channel see you soon with a bit.